we sent to the Supreme Court delineating all these different accounts, so to speak. Uh, I know it's due in August. Uh, you mean the accounts that you're reading me currently? Yeah, the statute requires that you have multiple accounts that you keep track of, and, and I would just like to see a report on that. Sure. that and as you, you want to review them, you can. You, you have access to the financial software in which we do track on a transaction basis all those funds, and so you have access to them currently. I do, and I also have access by requesting it through you yeah. to bring that report. And so, we have no problem with that, like I said, yeah. it's fine. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, if there's no other questions, is there a motion to uh, approve the appointment? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I will uh, I will move to approve the appointment with an understanding that the reports will be forthcoming. Okay. Is there a second? Okay. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Oppose. The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Let's move on to item three, juvenile probation. Yes, good morning again, Mr. White, members of the board. Uh, we request uh, Apache County to provide $2,121 in matching funds for an ongoing family counseling agreement. This is through the state of Arizona, and, and they will disperse $12,482, which comes to a total of $15,603, and we uh, recommend approval. Okay, gentlemen. I move to approve uh, item three on the agenda. <clears throat> okay. There's a motion and a second to approve. Any questions or comments? All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, Joe? Aye. Okay, thank you. Oppose. <clears throat> the ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Thank you. Let's move on to item four, human resource. Karen. Good morning, Chairman White, members Good of the morning. board. <clears throat> human resources is requesting review and approval of the intergovernmental agreement between Apache County and Navajo County for the Workforce Investment Act, WIA program. Uh, at this time, we have representatives from Navajo County, Mr. James Menlove and Ms. Susan Tegmeyer from the WIA program here to answer any additional questions. Okay. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Winger, just, just for the board's in just for the board's information, this here again is an ongoing uh, agreement. We've been in a relationship with Navajo County for a number of years with the workforce investment. So uh, anyway, this is something that's been done in the past, and uh, as Karen said, we recommend approval, and we do have these folks here if you have any questions. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Well, I would ask that maybe Mr. Minlove or uh, our other guests to just briefly give us an overview. I, you've come to visit us here in Navajo County. You do a lot of work in this area, and I, maybe a lot of people don't understand. I know there's been some changes recently and modifications, and we may see some improvements in the program. Uh, if you would speak for just a couple minutes, I'd appreciate it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, Board of Supervisors. Um, I am Susan Tegmeyer. I'm the Executive Director of the WIA program in Navajo and Apache Counties. Uh, recently, we have put together a five-year plan uh, that was required by the state. There have been a number of changes in the WIA program, um, all of them, I think, that are very positive. Uh, we are currently, we have uh, just hired a new um, case manager for Apache County, Jennifer Smale. She resides in Springerville, the Springerville area. And uh, she has been working very hard to put a lot of the folks to work in uh, Apache County. We have um, recently launched a new youth program. Uh, I think Jennifer has 15 to 20 uh, youth under 21 that are going to work as of today. Um, and we are also working to uh, put folks who have been laid off or um, currently not working uh, into training programs and back to work. And that is basically what the WIA program does. So our five-year plan was recently approved by our local workforce board, which is made up of both Navajo and Apache County residents. 
And uh, just last week, it, the uh, agreement that you were about to uh, vote on was um, uh, voted on by the Navajo uh, Board of Supervisors, and it was approved as well. So if there's any other questions that I can answer, uh, we, I do have a presentation that uh, sometime in the future I would love to give to uh, the board. Okay. Any questions, sir? Uh, thank you. Just, just one. Uh, I, I will state that I appreciate that uh, Ms. Houston and uh, uh, Mr. Joy have been participating in, in this and, and reporting back to me uh, with uh, great acceptance of what's been taking place. And I know they were part of the process of finding a, a person to work in this county. And uh, so I would ask you to give them a rating and give them a job performance review at this point. Is Apache County participating well enough for you? They are doing a great job. Thank you. We, and we do appreciate having input from Apache County. Okay. Uh, we absolutely need it. And um, if they don't come to me, I will come to them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move to approve uh, the item for the Human Resource Department. Okay. There's a motion to approve. Second. And there's a second. Any other questions or comments? All in favor? Say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Oppose. The ayes have it. Three in favor. None opposed. Thank you. And let's move on to item five. Mr. Moore. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Moore wasn't able to attend this morning, so we'll remove. We'll, we request that this be removed from the agenda, and we'll bring it back at a later date. Okay. We'll go ahead and remove item five. Why don't we move on to? Um, Item 6, County Attorney's Office. Thank you, Chairman and members of the board. Item 6 deals with the settlement agreement in uh, litigation between Transwestern Pipeline LLC and various counties in the state. Um, and to put it briefly, we, I presented this somewhat to the board before, but Transwestern Pipeline LLC owns a, a large pipeline that comes in through New Mexico um, somewhat across uh, the county uh, near Window Rock and then south of Ganado and into Navajo County. Uh, the pipeline runs through, I believe, seven counties within Arizona and as a multi-county uh, asset, it's valued centrally with the Arizona Department of Revenue, not by our assessor's office. Um, at, at this point in the litigation, we actually and by we, I mean Ken Love, who works with the Attorney General's office and has represented us in this, started the trial and began paneling jurors and reached a tentative settlement agreement that's been approved by most of the counties so far. Um, and I believe it's Apache County and one other that haven't yet voted on it. I would recommend at this time uh, executive session to discuss the terms of the settlement agreement but of course that's up to uh, the board. I can also discuss that in open meeting. Yeah, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Okay, uh, what are the wishes of the board? Mr. Weller? Uh, well, I have just a couple questions before we go into session, if we go. Uh, uh, are there terms of the settlement agreement that are confidential at this time that uh, cannot be shared with the public, Mr. Young? <coughs> I believe, well, I guess I would answer that in a couple of different ways. The other counties have went into executive session uh, in discussing the terms of settlement agreement. However, the main term is simply the, the numbers. And I don't believe that's confidential. I mean, we've noticed it on our, uh, obviously, so the, the terms itself wouldn't be confidential. It would be the impact on the county uh, and anything that we would need to do to kind of mitigate the losses that we would have in, in the settlement agreement. Okay, Mr. Weller? Yeah, uh, I think it, one of the issues that I will be discussing in executive session, which I'm not sure is confidential, has to do with the statement that you led off uh, this discussion with, which previously has been a part of this. This is a state asset valuation. The state has valued this asset and now we're being held liable uh, for nearly over a half a million dollars. Uh, I, I don't understand uh, why the state is not taking responsibility for this uh, decision and for this evaluation. And I, I can answer that from a legal perspective, from a kind of a, 
a fairness perspective, it doesn't feel appropriate. From the legal perspective, 